We want to welcome the Street Head of Service, Barrister Tony Okumbora Esquire. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for gracing this occasion. Please put your hands together for him. We also want to welcome Comrade Emmanuel Ademoku, is the pioneer handler of the club and the former JNC chairman. You're welcome, sir. We also want to welcome Comrade Omohai Joe. He's also a pioneer and a former JNC chairman. We also want to say a big thank you and welcome to Comrade Godwin Osamayai, the chairman, Public Service Joint Negotiating Council. You're welcome, sir. We also want to welcome Comrade Joseph Wasa, the vice chairman of the JNC. You're welcome. We also want to make welcome Comrade Osaji Jacob, the secretary JNC. We also want to make welcome Comrade Toy Paisley, CS Club Management Committee Chairman. You're welcome. We also have Kelvin Uwagbai, Managing Director, Edo State Investment Promotion Office. OYB. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. Please. <laughs> Kelvin OYB. I'm correct. Okay. Kevin Wybe, the managing director at Doe State Investment Promotion Office. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. We also want to make welcome. I, I think I need I need somebody to help me. Moko Jiwa. Moko Jiwu. Am I correct, ma? Okay, please help me. Moko Gu Osayame. Moko Gu Osayame. The name sounds like a foreign name, even if it's been in. Okay. Mokogu Osayame, you're welcome, man. Head of Legal Ministry of Finance Corporation. We want to say thank you for gracing this occasion. We also want to make welcome Mr. Odionwe, you, Joel, Consultant Investment Promotion. Thank you so much. And every one of us that have found time to come here from their busy schedule, we want to say welcome. Wherever you're seated, your presence is highly recognized. We want to invite a minister, a pastor, whoever is here to give us the opening prayer because like it is said, Jesus started with prayer and he ended with prayer. So please, if you are led by the Spirit, we want you to come and give us the opening prayer. Okay. Let me wait to start. All right, let's pray. Our dear Lord, we want to thank you for the privilege of being a part of this ceremony. We want to thank you for our dear state and our beloved God, Lord. We want to thank you for all the effort that is going into the process of the new service to us. The you there is committed to your care. As we do the groundbreaking ceremony, grant us great strength and resources to drive this project to a logical conclusion. Ultimately, only your name will be praised. Thank you for this ceremony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We also want to acknowledge the presence of engineer Austin Osaitin Osakwe, the manager, managing director, Edo State Public Building Maintenance Agency. You're welcome, sir. Sorry for meeting your name, sir. We're looking for trouble. <laughs> Before they go pursue me for here. <laughs> All right. We want to have the welcome address by the JNC chairman. You can do it here. You can do it here, sir. Okay, there's a podium. Yes. Yes, let me use it. <laughs> but it's not loud. It's better. Isuleto, E Africa. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Speech by Chairman, Public Service Joint Negotiating Council, at the groundbreaking ceremony of the new Civil Service Club by Mr. Governor, presented by the Herald Service, Edo State, on the 15th August 2023. His Excellency, Mr. Godwin Osaraye. 
Obaseki, Executive Governor of the State, the Head of Service, Head of the Public Service Joint Negotiating Council, the General Manager, Public Building and Maintenance Agency, the Chairman and General Labor Congress, the former Chairman of the NC Comrade Ma Demuku retired, the former Chairman of the NC Comrade Joe Amorai retired, the Club Management Committee member here, member of the Public Service Joint Negotiating Council present here, member of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I want to warmly welcome you all to this epic ceremony of the groundbreaking ceremony of the new Civil Service Club today, 15 August 2023. May I first thank God for giving us this privilege to witness the birth of the new Civil Service Club under the able administration of our worker, lovely governor. At this time, when the head of service, Mr. Osas A. Okobo Esquire, led the civil public service and reviving the entire sector of the ministry. The civil service club was given to civil public servant to unwind, relax, and chill out after work and at weekend. It is a complex where our workers can buy drinks, food, barbecue, local delegacy, and all few other services, other than pioneer chairman of Joint Council, Komri Ima Ademoko, by the former governor of Edo State, His Excellency Chief Loki Nusarai Benedio. Mr. Governor, sir, our worker could see by the gigantic structure of the soon to be commissioned labor house under the leadership of the Nigeria Labor Congress, NNC, and of the Trade Union Congress, TUC. And this time, the Civil Service Club complex under Public Service Joint Negotiating Council. That Your Excellency, Mr. Governor, has demonstrated the potential protection of labor, a frontline indices by Global Labor Organization, ILO. In assessing good governance, Mr. Governor, you have done well. We finally want to thank the head of service and head of the public service joint negotiating council, government side, to request that your periodic parley with which workers could be heard at this complex when completed. Workers would sometimes find more warm in their own environment when we meet with them. Or may I say the parley could be heard here for a simple change of environment. Mr. Governor, sir, we want to again assure you of worker solidarity at this time. So I want to ask something. Um, we are aware of uh, the removal of West subsidy. The workout of uh, those states we track a lot. And I will want you to extend our demand to Mr. Governor that uh, the palliative they are talking about should be extended to workers of those states. I think that we are already the suffering of our workers trekking along. I think you can see send a, an email to us as usual, every civil servant. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, the JNC chairman. Please, it's not email, it's prayer. I, I'm not sure you pray very well, sir. You can send email to Okay, you can send email to me. My own is email, it's not prayer. Okay, no problem, sir. But I didn't hear you say they will still be buying barbecue here. Oh, because we always buy barbecue there and it's very cheap. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for the opening remark. We want to call on the Utility Partnership Engineer Austin Scientist. Osa Osakwe managing Osakwe rather Osakwe managing director EDP EMA to give us his remark. Please put your hands together for him. Basically, I actually call this place a relaxation complex. I'm going to have a complex here that everybody will come here after work and just relax, unwind, and do other things. I stand on all existing protocol. Good morning, everybody. 
Uh, I just want to welcome everybody here uh, for this groundbreaking ceremony of the new civil service club and uh, the foundation lane ceremony too. <clears throat> and this, if, you know, if you notice, this place is located in the heart of the GRE. It's the accessibility to everywhere around town in Benin here. The importance of realization and recreational activities for a civil and public servant well-being cannot be over emphasized and that's why the governor is very concerned about the well-being of our people so first of all, I want to thank the His excellency uh, mr godwin norgasa baseki for making this day a reality the staff club will serve as a hub for reiteration realization and personal growth to provide a space where friendship can flourish ideas can be exchanged and bonds can be strengthened beyond our professional rules it's not just to work in the office, we still have to make time out to relax and unwind and not even discuss personal issues about our well-being after work. This building is designed and consists of the following uh, facilities. We're going to have a meeting hall here. We're going to have uh, about four, three indoor bar, one adult bar. We're still going to have uh, a table tennis hall, a gym room. We have a canteen here. We have a dance floor so produce and people can dance and unwind after work. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so on. We're going to have a barbecue uh, joint around. Yes. I'm sure the MC will like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> the barbecue joint yeah, will be there. So, we are going to have everything here. In the coming months, as we witness the construction of this club on food before our eyes, let us continue to work together with the same enthusiasm unity and professionalism that defines our organization. This groundbreaking ceremony not only marks the beginning of the fiscal structure, but also the continuation of the positive spirit that drives us forward. This project is being handled by indigenous and a competent contractor, so we are not bringing a foreigner to come and do it. So it's going to be 100% handled by an indigenous contractor who has done, who has performed so well in the past. And uh, we are projecting that within the next five months, the project will be ready for commissioning. <clears throat> so come, uh, so come by January 2024. This new club will be commissioned for use for everybody that are here. And so I want to thank everybody for being a part of this special occasion. Let's look ahead to the future with excitement and anticipation as we create a space that will enhance our workplace experience and enrich our connection with one another. Together, let's join Mr. Governor to strengthen the foundation for a brighter, more prosperous, and more inclusive Edo State Civil to Public Service. We look forward to January 2024, when we can cut the ribbon and welcome our first guest into this extraordinary club. <clears throat> God bless Mr. Governor, and God bless Edo State. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank you so much for the wonderful speech and for also including the barbecue. <laughs> All right, we want to have a remark by the Edo State Head of Service, Thank you. Barrister Tony Okumboa Esquire. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you, guys. Thank you. If I say I'm excited this morning, that would be an understatement. I'm sure you know. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me just simply say all of the protocols you observed. Um, but I must mention and acknowledge the JNC chairman, my brother, and then the first JNC chairman, Mr. Sorry, Comrade Ademoku, and the other chairman, past chairman, who are here. Uh, managing director, public buildings agency. If I don't mention you, then there's trouble. <laughs> My brother Kelvin and uh, Yame, and all of you distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I must also mention my brother Emeritus uh, Permanent Secretary, uh, Mr. Edionwe. So I'd like to welcome all of you to this program. Let me first of all apologize profusely because this program started a lot later than we had said it would start. Uh, I had to very quickly honor Mr. Governor's invitation to see him early today. And that's why I 
had difficulty meeting with the time that we had scheduled for this program. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I told you I'm quite excited today. Um, what has been happening in the public service is unprecedented in the history of the state. And indeed today, we say that, and we're very glad to say so, that our governor is the best governor in this country. Mm. And we say it without minds in words. We say it with every sense of responsibility. Because we have been here for some time as part of the civil and public service. Like they say, government or governance is a continuum where one person stops, another continues. And so everyone, every government that has been here has done well over time. Uh, but by the grace of God, we have a governor who has now put the civil and public service at the front burner as far as the development of the state is concerned. Mr. Governor believes that without an effective and very functional public service, governance will not be effective. And so Mr. Governor has done all within his power and has left no stone unturned in ensuring that everything that is required by the civil and public service to perform optimally is given to it. Uh, you were there with us last week, Saturday, when we opened the intellectual property resource base of the service. Like has never happened before. The first of its kind in this state and the best in class as far as the whole of this country is concerned. You can see what has been happening across the landscape in terms of public service development. It is unprecedented in the history of this country. And so what is happening today is another demonstration of the commitment of Mr. Governor to ensure that the civil service of Edo State becomes the best that it can be and unrivaled in the history of civil services and public services in the whole of this country. Mr. Governor believes that once you have been developed in terms of your mind, the JUPSA is there, and then you have a good workplace environment, the Secretariat is there. Then, of course, after work, you also have to have something, you know, so that, so that you can properly relax. I like the way the GNC chairman put it. This place is meant for civil servants to unwind, to relax, and then he said to chill out. I don't know what that means anyway. <laughs> so, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank His Excellency, Mr. Governor. Uh, we appreciate His Excellency for all that he has been doing for us as a civil and as a public service. We're immensely grateful to him. Like I said, we have been here. Everything he has done is unprecedented in the history of the state. And we're immensely grateful to him. I want to call on every civil and public servant to whom much is given. The Bible says much, much is expected. So having developed us and having continued to develop us as a civil and public service, it's our responsibility as a civil and public service to give back. How do we give back? We have to give back with hard work. We have to give back with commitment. We have to give back with everything that we can to ensure that our work does not suffer and that we justify the confidence reposed in us by the governor and the government of Edo State. So once again, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is an opportunity for us to unwind, to relax, and to what? Chill out. To chill out. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. We want to say a big thank you for the wonderful remark. We want to... Thank you, guys. Okay. The rest have gone behind. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vice Attorney Okumboa, for the wonderful remark. We want to also acknowledge the presence of Comrade Amoka Ijo, former JNC Chairman. You're welcome. You just stepped in. Thank you for coming, sir. Without wasting much time, the reason why we are all here today for the groundbreaking ceremony led by the Edo State Head of Service, Vice Attorney Okumboa, We'll go over there and do the groundbreaking proper.
Yes, so they are doing the official <sighs> foundation lane today. Even if you have to. Let's talk. And put motor. Put motor. Motor. Yes. 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 On behalf of the governor of Edo State, the best governor in Nigeria, I hereby lay the foundation block for this new civil service club. In the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so guys, so the foundation lane ceremony has been done, and uh, this is the building and uh, after work or work and not play make a jackie door boy so you got to relax and uh, the governor is doing a great job I must say good kudos to his excellency governor godwin obasaki and i did very very happy you know in a developed country by the time workers finish all the day they close they'll go go relax on wine but in nigeria not be like that that walk 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 we know they are wine so the governor is actually changing that narrative. So after you walk, finish, also go relax on wine. So this is the, I've done the foundation lane today. So please guys, share the broadcast. Let our people see the great work that's going on in the state. And I can tell you that the governor is doing a great job. So just someone could give an update. By the grace of God, January next year, this place will be commissioned officially. So guys, I want to say thank you. And the Constitutional Company, they handle the job. Now, Dairos Integrated Nigeria Limited, not them. They do the job, and they're doing a great job. So guys, thank you. My name is Raymond Pastor Alfred Adoy Inosa, the Street Commissioner. The man with the talk and the show and the dwam, as it be. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>